I bought a $5 Disney Favorites Ultimate Coloring Book. Halloween Edition. <clears throat> Don't know what came over me there. I think I'm just excited because this coloring book is pretty much custom made for what I like to do. Halloween is coming up. It's the spooky season and I'm going to be doing some fun crossovers featuring your favorite Disney characters getting themselves into some spooky situations. There'll be lots of different horror references in this video, so keep an eye out to see if you can figure out all the different horror characters from movies, video games, and more. Now that I've finished this fun little Mike Wazowski jack-o'-lantern, using none other than my trusty kids' crayons, for the fun of it, it's time to step things up a notch and draw something a bit more detailed. If you want to see more horror drawings like this one, definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be trying to upload a bit more this month leading up to Halloween, so you'll definitely want to stick around to see what I post next. Especially if you enjoy Pokemon. I may have a video in the works dedicated to any Pokemon trainers out there. But that's a secret for now, so don't tell anyone. Let's get on with this drawing where Woody has found himself in a bit of a predicament, getting chased by some wild Pokemon. Run, Woody, run! Woody is not the best Pokemon trainer. He has failed to capture any Pokemon. In fact, the Pokemon have decided to capture him and they will proceed to bury him alive inside a coffin as retaliation for all the poor Pokemon trapped in Pokeballs. How the turns have tabled. Chicken dude plus rabbit dude equals five nights at Freddy's drawing. Everyone knew this was coming, right? There was no surprises here. I really need to work on building the suspense, don't I? Bonnie and Chica are doing a bit of pirate cosplay, and Foxy in the background approves. Speaking of pirate dress-ups, we've got another one here where Pluto is dressed up as a swashbuckling pirate, ready to go trick-or-treating for his favourite dog snacks. Pirates like skull and bones, don't they? Well, I've got the perfect companion for him then. Also, if you're wondering about the Kingdom Hearts music in the background, I may have got Pluto confused with Goofy, who is obviously one of the main characters from Kingdom Hearts, thus the music. But it's okay because Pluto does feature in the games, so we're gonna go with it, okay? They're both dogs, they look the same! Plus, it's a really nice song, so let's just enjoy it. Shout out to Mew for making this amazing piano cover. Go check out his channel, he makes awesome music. This drawing was really fun. I transformed Trevor Henderson's long horse into a trick-or-treating pirate, complete with eye patch, gold tooth, and hoop earring. I don't know what type of candies it would like, but judging by its replacement gold tooth, I'm assuming it would like something sweet. 
Jesse is terrified and on the run. But who or what is she running from? Am I getting better at building the suspense for these drawings? It's not going to be another Five Nights at Freddy's crossover, don't worry. Or is it? Ooh, the suspense is building. I'm really happy with this crossover. It kind of makes me laugh, the contrast between the cartooniness of Jesse and the dark, imposing nature of Michael Myers, which was just a fitting crossover because it's a Halloween-themed coloring book. How could I not draw Michael Myers? I don't know if I'm meant to find this crossover funny, but I do. Is there something wrong with me? Don't answer that question. These hyenas are already pretty creepy, but I've got a different idea for this drawing. Hyenas hunt and scavenge in packs, and these guys have called in their rainbow friends as reinforcements. I'm well aware that those who don't know what rainbow friends are will have absolutely no idea what I've just drawn. You can google it I suppose, or don't. Mickey Mouse is looking so surprised he's dropped his spoon. Hmm, spoon? I wonder if that's foreshadowing what's to come. Nah, I just felt like drawing a spoon. Don't be so paranoid. Hello, Mickey Mouse. Can I touch your rusty spoon? That was definitely the most disturbing part of this whole video. Let's move on from rusty spoons to plastic sporks. What an upgrade. Toy Story's Forky is apparently dressed up as a clown, I believe. But we're going to do something a bit different with this transformation. Have you guessed the reference already? For the last drawing of the video, I did a fun little puppy pl puppy pl 
Poppy Playtime. I'm distracted by the cute little puppy in the corner. I love puppies. Poppy Playtime transformation. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoy this content, subscribe, like the video, and a massive thank you to all of my awesome patrons for supporting. I can't speak anymore. For supporting the channel is what my brain was trying to articulate. We got there in the end. Catch me in the next one. Bye.